Hi folks, welcome to or welcome back to Exposed and if I'm welcoming you back and you like it here I'd love it if you subbed. Just got back and I was going through all my comments and somebody said have you seen Lisa's latest? She's showing how to boil an egg. It was like no they've got to be joking. She really can't be showing people how to boil an egg but there she is kissing an egg in the thumbnail how to perfectly boil eggs so they peel easily really so is she got a new routine now i thought don't you remember people who watched her back in the day she had a gadget to boil eggs because she couldn't boil eggs because she can't boil water she can't cook but anywho this i've got to see shall we jump in Sometime today would be nice. So the first thing I do is fill my pot with, or I start filling it with water. And I do it, I'm not necessarily trying to do cold water. I'm just not doing hot water. Mm -hmm. Grab my eggs. And I usually put six eggs. Are we keeping up, folks? Does anyone need a pad and a pencil to take notes? Just so we get lost along, we don't get lost along the way. Six eggs, right, okay. And I, I pretty much know how much water I need by this time. Yeah, so do most people, Lisa. I know children that can boil eggs and know how much water they need. Now that's just annoying. Has that annoyed anybody else? If you know, you know. <laughs> Why? Why did she not take the egg there and leave those six all together? <laughs> Does that bug anyone else? Ah! Oh, I swear this man needs fucking chainsaw. So you want the water to just cover your eggs. No. So like you can hold one down and just make sure that it's just over the top. So six eggs. The next thing I do. Six eggs in water in a pan. Yeah, got that. It was put it on my burner and I put my heat on medium. That is the key. For fuck's sake, Lisa, put your hair in a bobble and stop hanging it over a fucking gas hob. How old are you? Have you taught children to cook like this with their hair hanging? Well, Will won't have hair hanging, but Brooke does. Does she not put her hair up in a bobble when she's cooking? You're a fucking idiot. And has anyone noticed she really didn't know how to use the tap or turn this burner on? Proof. She never cooks. So put it on medium, and we're gonna wait for this to come to a full boil, a rolling boil. I always put salt in there. I don't know why. If it does anything, but I like to put just, ooh, this is my favorite salt, the Redmond salt. I usually put just a little, a little teaspoon of salt in the water. And then I wait for this to come to a boil. I never leave the kitchen. I stand right here. I might, you know, walk to the laundry room or something, but I pretty much watch it until it comes to that board. Right, the, the laundry room is around the corner at the back door, or at another door anyway, and you can't see the kitchen from the laundry. So do you stand and watch it or do you do the laundry, which? And does anyone stand and watch eggs boil, really? Why do you have to stand and watch it? Okay, this is what it should look like. See yeah. how the water is just... It's boiling, folks. Boiling water. This is boiling water. Really bubbling and a rolling boil. So now what we do is we turn the burner off. We. What is this we business? You're cooking them. So what you do is off 
we leave it on that burner. Don't move it off the burner. You take your lid and you cover it tightly. Don't just sit it on here, but cover it. Now what we do is set our timer for 10 minutes. Okay, so my alarm just went off. What I do is go ahead and start running cold water. And that's the beauty of this pot is all of the hot water out of it. So why are we running the cold water while you're letting the hot water out? Why can't you wait until you've drained it and taken the lid off, then turn the cold water on? Watch out, that is really hot right there. So just make sure it's on time. Watch out, that's really hot. No shit, Sherlock. Really? What's the average demographic of the women that watch you? 50 to 80. I think they know that it's hot and I think they know how to boil an egg by now. All I've got in my head, did anyone watch Big Brother in the UK the year Pete won it? All I've got now is Glyn. He was a young Welsh lad who'd never been outside of his house, I don't think. And he went on Big Brother and he found alcohol and lots of things and he learned tons of new stuff. <laughs> and he decided he was going to boil himself an egg one day because he'd seen the others doing it. And he put his egg on and he's dancing around the kitchen going, I'm cooking an egg for the very first time. Ah, ooh, ah, ooh. <laughs> Reminds me of Lisa. It's like, for God's sake, Lisa, you're 50 something. Why are you trying to tell people how to boil a fucking egg? And I fill this with the cold water. Now I'm going to all the way over the eggs. No, really? I wouldn't have thought of that. Anyone else not do that? I'm waiting for this big eureka moment where she says something I've never seen before. Like, I've just watched a TikTok of a man making um, poached eggs with no vinegar in a saucepan. And it's like... I thought you had to have vinegar. And he's like, no, you don't. And he did it. And it's like, yep, no vinegar for me from now on. Because it makes the, the egg whites taste funny, doesn't it? Anyway, going off track again. And now what I do, is I like my eggs hot or warm, then I take one out. Crack it open. I usually hold it under the water and Why? I, usually at the top or the bottom will be like an air pocket and you can grab the shell really and turn the fucking tap off and do it in the saucepan dipshit seal them without destroying them I guess Usually out of six eggs, there'll be one or two that didn't want to feel good, but most of them just feel perfectly. Okay, and I must say that this water is not really, really cold. It's on the coldest, but it's not like freezing cold. You don't need the tap running. Okay, and you'll feel like a little place where you can... She's really honestly talking like she's teaching people something, isn't she? Has she just learnt how to boil an egg? Is that what it is? As John said to her, for fuck's sake, boil your own eggs. Oh, but I don't know. Here, look, you do this. So now she's thinking, oh, I wonder how many other stupid wives are sat at home waiting for their husbands to boil them an egg because they don't know how to. Really? This woman. Got it. And for those of you coming over here saying, leave her alone. Really? Are you watching the same video I am? Really? 50 fucking five year old woman telling me how to boil eggs. Fuck off. I 
And why are you not putting the eggshells in a bin or some sort of receptacle to take to the bin rather than letting them wash down the fl fucking plug hole? The secret is grabbing that membrane. And oh, the secret. There we go. Are we going to watch her do all six? pissed off with the running water. I'm going to look at the comments afterwards. I'll do it with you. I was going to do it on my own, but I won't. I'll do it with you lot. Let's see what morons have written in response to this video. Oh, well, you yeah, just wash everything down the plug hole. All down the Okay, we've got one egg that gave me a problem. That happens. A lot of times I'll have one egg that just will not peel well. Okay, and then I usually just cut them in half. If you wanted them softer boiled than this, you would just adjust your time. But as you can see, this is pretty much perfect. If they were cooked a lot longer, they would have that rim around the yolk. If Does she never use plates? All I've ever seen so far, she's nearly as bad as Lardy, is paper towel and paper plates. Went well, fuck off. Sorry, there's a one of them little tiny black flies trying to fly up my nose um when john was cooking for paper plates i think he used three of them and they got thrown in the bin it's like what a waste this family just waste waste water waste fucking paper towel waste paper plates if they were cooked less they would just be more soft boiled no would and then they? john usually likes his just cut in half you just said you cut yours in half, but and you then, don't, you, do you? You cut them in quarters. Fuck me. I like the Redmond salt. I like how you can see this salt too. Mm. I always thought about inventing a colored salt so you can see it, but this one you can see, and I salt heavily. And then this is my favorite pepper. You can get it at Big Lots if you have a Big Lots. It is so good. It's kind of big. It's coarse. Lisa, you can buy black pepper kernels and put them in a fucking grinder yourself. And have them any way, shape or form. But no, let's keep buying this thing, whatever it is, and wasting more fucking stuff. I, d I just, I can't with this woman. Are you going to tell us how to eat them now? And that is it. Next thing you do is eat them. I like mine like this because they're bite sized and then John likes those. So thank yeah. you guys so much for watching. If you are on carnivore, eggs are going to be part of your capsule food wardrobe. <laughs> Just explore with eggs. The carnivore capsule food wardrobe. <laughs> I've never heard that before. Eggs. Scramble them with hamburger meat and maybe some spices or something or just salt and pepper is what I usually use. Scrambled eggs. We do scrambled eggs on the grill all the time. If you're craving pe John does scrambled eggs on the grill all the time. What has she done? Has she got some sort of filter on or she had work done or what? Her face looks really different in this video and I can't pinpoint what it is. Pizza, cook eggs and pepperoni. That always tastes good to me. Mix some mozzarella cheese in there. But eggs are an everyday, not maybe not every day, but an definitely every couple of day thing for me. And even if you're not on carnivore, eggs are a super food, you guys. 
I watched a video because I wanted to give you all of these facts on eggs. Mm -hmm. And I decided I would just link Dr. Berg's video down below on all the nutrition that an egg has in it. It is one of the true superfoods. So don't be afraid of the yolk egg. and the cholesterol because I think that's where most of the benefits are. So I love eggs and I hope this helped you just a little bit and I will see you soon. Wow. How would it help anybody? Oh, we've got to see it and we just do the newest in case you someone says something interesting and she hasn't deleted it thanks lisa i'll have to try your way i'm trying to lose weight as well and incorporate more eggs lisa i love you i follow you for years but please don't waste the water close and open the faucet when you need it thank you letitia Between the red meat every night and the salt you put on them eggs, you must not have issues with high blood pressure. All that would have my blood pressure so high my head would explode. And Lisa says, not at all. This is how I've always done them too. I put a bit more water in, but same thing. I remember you saying you liked the egg cooker. Did you stop liking that? I never grabbed one since this was just fine, but I'm curious. Also, do you like red beet eggs? I love them. Some sugar, vinegar and a can or two of red beets and the next day they're so... Oops. Yummy. And Mariah loved the red beets, so she bangs those up. I like them too, but I love the eggs. Lol, that makes no sense to me. Anyway... Sugar, vinegar and a can of two of red beets. I, d I don't understand. Thank you. Salt delays the boiling part. That's why when cooking pasta, etc., you have to add it after the water comes to a boil. I was going to say that. But I was so thrown by the amount of salt that she was putting in it. Here's the thing. We do not have an infinite amount of clean water. Well said, Diane. save those eggshells I tried this last night and it worked perfectly thank you for sharing Michelle you're the, the type of person that keeps her putting out this fucking nonsense Just put all six cooked just put all six cooked eggs into a glass jar from pickles, put half a cup of water in the jar with the eggs, put the lid on and shake the jar about ten times. Shells will slide off in one piece and you won't be wasting water as you peel. But she doesn't give a fuck about wasting water, does she? Because she's Lisa. She doesn't care about anything. She puts all those bad thoughts out of her head and just does what she wants to do. Mm-hmm. I swear, I'm going to buy a gun and fucking shoot this bloke. I'm not. We don't have guns in the UK. Right. I'm going to go and have a break and hope he shuts up. If you got to the end with me, thank you so much. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>